I think it's time. Yes, it's time to bring, to bring, to bring history back to life. Cool, it's amazing. Cream of Cats TV. If you like old movies, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to click the like button to preserve our movie heritage for future generations. So, what has an old Victorian drinks tanker got to do with the birth of cinema and motion pictures? Well, all will be revealed in this video. In the meantime, does anyone fancy a 120 year old drink? I've done hundreds of YouTube videos of the earliest global movie stars featured on original and rare trade cards, but I want to do something slightly different today. Here is a typical small English seaside town called Hive in Kent in the UK. And this is a fantastic book of many different old postcards from that town. I've put all the uh, book details in the description. But there is one picture in particular that I want to show you. This image features the sportsman's Inn pub that tragically burnt down in 1907. To my overseas viewers who don't know, if I had to choose one social institution that sums up the British culture, it would probably be the pub. Uh, with a history dating back thousands of years. This tankard comes from that ill-fated pub, the Sportsman's Inn, and was issued in the 1870s and it has the original Victorian mark on it. Here is a picture of the interior of the burnt down pub. It was quite common in those days to send a, a postcard after a disaster had happened, before the mass introduction of telephones. Coincidentally, the pub was used as an actual public telephone call office before the fire, as seen by as can be seen by the picture. Yes, postcard producers had a roaring trade in producing photographic cards of local events in the days before tabloid newspapers, radio and movie theatres became widespread. And that leads me on nicely to the next postcard, which shows Hive's first ever movie theatre that was built on the exact same location where the sportsman Zimba down. So, like a Phoenix rising from the ashes, one traditional social institution was replaced with a newer one, the Picture Palace, or Electric Theatre as it was first known. Unfortunately, the building was demolished and there is currently a jean shop, uh, roughly where it once stood all those years ago. If we take a look at the uh, street view, it is almost unrecognisable today. Movie pictures have been shown in Hive's Town Hall since as early as 1896, but the Picture Palace was Hive's first permanent movie theatre. With the increasing popularity of motion pictures in the 1920s, a much larger 650-seater Grove Cinema was built in Prospect Road but closed down in 1958 because of, a redu because of reduced audience numbers probably due in part to the increasing popularity of television. Uh, the Grove Cinema has long since disappeared and was originally located in the car park to what is now a supermarket, Audi's. Uh, a much larger cinema was built at the roundabout at the corner of Prospect Road and East Street in the 1930s, seating 858 people with more uh, spending their evenings watching television, this mammoth cinema was no longer economical for a small town like Hive, and finally closed its doors in 18, sorry, 1984, and was replaced by luxury town flats during the uh, property boom. An effort was made to open a much smaller cinema at the back of the Hive Light Railway Cafe in the early 1970s, but it only lasted two years. Okay, there's the light railway, and next to it is the cafe that I was on about. What we're gonna do now is go round the back and try, and try to find the building to the old cinema. Okay, that's the building just there. It's difficult to get to uh, from back here because it's all fenced off and there's a hedge here. 
Um, let's see if I can. You can see the roof just about. Ah, that's the building there where the old cinema would have been. So very few people know, realise that that used to be a cinema and out of Hive's four cinemas, that's the only building still standing. Thanks to the YouTube revolution, nearly everybody can broadcast themselves down to the world. So we all have the power of the cinema, television and radio station in the palm of our hands. And so we can control and drive our own popular culture. This has been a great book for my research of old movie theatres in Hive. If you're interested in the history of Hive, go check it out. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to check out the largest collection of videos of the earliest movie idols and fashion icon trade cards in the world on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.